We previously posted a video of this Lenovo SR635 talking about all of its capabilities and uh, wonderful abilities, in fact, to be able to fit 16 NVMe PCIe Gen 4 drives in this 1U chassis. Now, our initial configuration, though, only had the two drives in the back that are NVMe ready. The back plane in the front is SATA SAS, and we don't have the, uh, the internal bays. Some of that's gonna change today, though. So this came in from Lenovo, and Kevin actually got tired of using the PCIe cover and the flathead screwdriver for opening boxes, and has decided to invest in a storage review Bowie knife. So, <laughs> A tad, a tad overkill perhaps for opening a box, but well, I don't know. That is smooth right there, buddy. Nice. Kevin, you may have outdone yourself with the Bowie knife, and now we've got an extra level of security in the office should the need arise. All right, so back to the task at hand. Lenovo sent us the uh, AnyBay 10 drive backplane and oh, we've got some extra caddies. Hey, that's handy. At first I thought they were just a little couple bonus caddies and they are because we only have eight bays in here now. And instead of Kevin dangling the drives off the, uh, the connectors, we'll actually have legit bays. That's a good start. Some directions, we probably don't need those. Now this is the, one of the important parts. These will be all the cables we need to connect the backplane to the motherboard. So, eh, that's a lot of them. Hopefully we'll connect all of those to the appropriate ports. And then secured in the foam here, we've got the back plane itself. All right. So this guy's got our, uh, our 10 connectors for what will be ultimately PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. For now though, we can use uh, older drives and then on the inside we've got all the connectors that'll run from these this cable harness all the way to to the back of the motherboard so it looks like we've got everything we need all we need to do now is pop the top switch out the back planes and uh, plug in so we'll come in a little closer for that all right so i've enlisted uh, another set of hands for this you'll see kevin's palms in this one but uh, we only have one mic, so no speaking for Kevin, unfortunately. You may hear grunts of sadness or joy as we go through this. Anyway, so what we're going to do is step one is go ahead and remove the drives. And then we'll also remove the little plug that's in there, too. And that'll give us access to the other two bays so that we get our, our 10 any bays instead of our 8 SATA SAS. So that'll get us going. And while you pull that out, I'll get the lid off. And then, all right, let's pull the covers off, get access to all these goodies. And then Kevin will start to decable this thing to make room for our new backplane. So just like that, there goes our eight SATA SAS. And then we will be replacing that, of course, with our 10 any bay, which we're mostly interested in it for the NVMe. Now it's interesting, the box as you saw comes with a comprehensive batch of cables and that includes a new power cable uh, as well as cables that run to all of the bays uh, or all the, uh, the connection ports on the motherboard to enable all of the bays. That also includes a new cable for these back two bays, uh, which is pretty cool that instead of routing over here to uh, PCI connection one is going to switch and come over to six, wherever that is. Each one of these is really well labeled on the board and each cable is really well labeled too. So when we get to the point of connecting all of the individual cables that go into this backplane, everything's labeled. It just makes it really, really simple. So we're going to remove these cables to the RAID card and then Kevin will have a little more room to start to work with on that side uh, channel run there. So I'll grab the harnesses. Let me start with this one and this one. So as he works through it, again, you'll see PCIe 4, P 
PCIe 5, and then on the board they're labeled uh, really well too. The shorter one of course will go this way to get to these points. The longer guys will wrap around and kind of snake in here. That's for the back one. And then we've got two SATA SAS runs. They're going to go to the RAID card. Now, for most people that are going to run the AnyBay uh, 10 uh, drive backplane, you're going to be using PCIe drive, NVMe drives, PCIe Gen 4, hopefully, in most cases. However, they are AnyBay, so you could drop a couple SATA or SAS drives in there for boot or logging or, or some inexpensive capacity, and that's when this RAID card is going to come in handy. All right, here's that last one. All right, so you've got everything from the front heading backwards, which is good. We've got the new power cable that's going to head frontwards. Now, it's going to get real snug on that side. What's, what's the plan? You're going to run those back first and then lay the power cable on top. All right. So this... Uh, Kevin's left side of the server is the trickiest part because we are adding a pretty thick bundle of cables. The SATA SAS cables were already there, and now we've got this uh, big NVMe bundle that's going to sit on top. So Kevin's going to use the handy little clips that are built in. Run those back to the RAID card. All right, step one's good. Now this is where it starts to get a little more snug. You've got to work around the various objects on the board, make sure that we tuck our cables in and protect them well. Last thing we want to do is slice them off on the uh, putting the lid on. And then even this is kind of neat. I, I know I'm sort of reiterating how neat the cables are, but the fact that they're all properly length so that the, these are just, this one's just a little longer than this one than this one, and same on the, uh, the connector side, it just makes the installation that much more simple from uh, the standpoint of not having extra cable length or extra you know, nonsense to work around. That is the advantage of creating your own products rather than relying on uh, some third-party cable to uh, to make that transition work. So we did run the new power cable here. The connector is a little bit different than it is on the SATA SAS backplane. Okay, we've got that snugged up. Clear. Okay, that's clipped in. Okay, these cables are going to have to overlap where this one needs to go to six now. So we'll rerun these uh, cables for the back two NVMe drives. There we go. And this cable is long enough to reach both where it was connected before and its new home. So that's cool. And with that done, we're just down to running out the, uh, the remaining cables from the front. Can almost smell sweet, sweet victory. Once we get that in, come on. All right, we'll tuck in the cables. Wow, I feel like there should have been a uh, a timed speed challenge. We'll make sure everything's secure. We'll slam the lid back on and uh, now all we need to do is find some PCIe SSDs to put in this guy and get it running. So thanks for tuning in uh, for this backplane upgrade in a Lenovo SR635 and uh, we'll be back soon with uh, hopefully some really great performance numbers from this system. Thanks.